All right, guys, so you had some time to do that activity. Now, I want to show you what Louise came up with here. Louise, how many did yours make? Six and a little. How many of you guys also got six and a little? How many of you guys have got exactly six? A couple people. Okay. Well, so who's right? Let's let me show you. Using a website called mathisfun.com. Doesn't that sound like your new favorite website? Is it Ron Adobe? <laughs> All right. So we're going to go to this website, mathisfun.com. And it's going to show us how this works. So if I take a circle and I take the radius and map that onto an arc, I just made a radian. Now, a radian is actually 57.2958 degrees. Oh, so I was close. So okay. Mindy actually got curious and got a protractor and got about 58. So good job. Now, this is how we make a radian. And this is what you guys did. We took the radius. We mapped it onto the circle, and then we called that. And we said, how many fit in a circle? And what did you guys get? You got six, six in a little. Either six or 58. Now, I'm actually going to tell you the answer. It should be six and a little. That little bit is actually 0.28. <laughs> now, does this number have any significance? Yes. Yeah. How so? You're, you're close, but you're not quite. Let me show you. Let me actually build up to this now. Uh, this is going to demonstrate how many fit in half of a circle. They didn't go all the way around, but watch this. Here's one radian. There's another, another, and then a little bit. And how much is that little bit? 3.14. Oh, 0.14, which I knew it. is? Pi. <laughs> Pi oh, is the diameter of a circle. So you're using the wrong word and not diameter, you're thinking circumference. Circumference. So now, guys, when we look at half a rotation, we have one pi. What does that mean a full rotation is? Two pi. Two pi, which is, if I take 3.14 and I double it, it's 6.28. And so that's why when you look at yours here, and you have one, two, three, four, five, six, how much is that little bit left over? 0.28, this is 2 pi. Now, the whole reason why we're doing this is because when we're measuring in radians, we're me instead of 360, we're doing 2 pi. So let's kind of start to formalize what we're doing here, all right? So do you guys see where this is in your notes? Is it the next thing? No? Wait. No, I don't. This should be in your notes. So let's fill in this circle down here in degrees first, and then we're going to add in the radian measurements, okay? All right, so Emma, help me out here. In a circle, we start here for zero degrees, and how many degrees is it to one revolution? 360. So those land in the same spot. What do we call angles that land in the same spot? Co. Oh my gosh. Co terminal. Terminal, good job. Okay. All right, now guys, what does that mean? Half a rotation is in degrees. Good. What does that mean? A quarter rotation is in degrees. And what about three quarters? All right. This was our lesson last time, so hopefully that's fresh on your brain. But now what we're going to do is we are going to switch this over into radians. Remember that radian was the angle created by mapping the radius onto the arc. Now, obviously, zero degrees is zero radians. What did we say one complete revolution was in radians? 6.28. Which is more precisely written as 2 pi. So in, right next to 360, I want you to put 2 pi. 2 pi radians is the same angle as 360 degrees. That is correct. So then half a revolution, which is 180, well, instead of going 2 pi, we're only going pi. So half a revolution is just pi. Then what would be quarter? Well, hold
Hold on, you're jumping ahead a little faster. Wait just a second for everyone to catch up. So now I want to do a quarter revolution or 90 degrees. If 180 is pi, what is going to be half of that? Half of pi. We're going to write that as pi over 2. That's pi halves. So then what would that mean 270 is? It's more than 1 pi, but it's less than 2 pi. How much is it? Um, would it also be pi over 2? No. So it's almost, so if we think about this, it's 1 and a half, right? Because I went 1 pi and then a half. So now think about this, guys. If I were to take the mixed fraction 1 and a half, how would I write that as just a regular fraction? Uh, three. That's three halves, right? Yeah, three halves. So this is going to be three pi halves. Three pi? Because yeah. I mean, if you think about taking, let me let me talk go like this. Let's split this into halves, okay? So this is half of a pi. This is half of a pi, and this is half of a pi. How many halves are you taking? You're taking One, two, three. But we have to have the pi in there because it's, if I were to go to four pi, four pi halves, that'd be two pi, right? So I had to one pi half, two pi halves, three pi halves. And that's how we get there. All right, so this is going to be what we need to um, remember Remember these general ones. All the other ones I'm going to give you a conversion for, okay? And that conversion is actually going to be this statement right here. 180 degrees is the same as pi radians, all right? Okay, let me do an example, but please, you guys, be paying attention here. When I am trying to go from degrees to radians, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply by pi over 180. The way I remember this is if it's in degrees, it doesn't have a pi. So when you change it into radians, you need to give it a pi so the pi is in the top. So all I'm going to do on here, when I do 60 degrees, I'm going to times it by pi over 180. Now, my answer, I want to have pi in it. So my final answer, I want to pi so don't put pi in your calculator. That would just make it messy. Don't get whipped cream everywhere. But what I do want you to put in is the 60 over 180. So guys, do you all have a yellow calculator? Put in 60 over 180. Okay, now you get this ugly decimal. What button do you push to change that ugly decimal into a fraction? You're actually going to push math, enter, enter. So math is right below the green button. Oh, one third. And that changes it to one third. I feel like we're supposed to know that point three 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 three. You should. Three 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 three. Well, you won't for all these other ones. So it's one third, but remember there's a pi, so the pi times by the one. So this just becomes pi thirds. So 60 degrees is the same as pi thirds radians. Okay, let's keep going here. 135, I'm going to times it by, I want to know what 135 degrees is in radians, so I'm going to times it by pi over 180. Now, I'm going to go on my calculator. 135 divided by 180. Which is 0.75. And hopefully you know 0.75 is 3 fourths, but if not, you push math, enter, enter. And that gives you 3 fourths, so that tells us that it's 3 pi over 4. You do need to simplify. So do we need to multiply 3 times pi? No, you leave it in terms of pi, but reduce the other one. If you were to multiply by pi, you'd get a really ugly decimal. Now, does everyone see where math enter enter is? I want you to do 330 on your own. 
So don't shout out the answer. That's the one I don't know, Frank. Just check with your neighbor to see if they get the same thing you do. Okay, Antonio, what'd you get on this one? Um, the fraction. Or the, the fraction. Good job. So 330 over 180 turns into 116. And then what do we just need to give that? Pi. So there we go. 330 is 11 pi 6 radian. Now, I'm going to ask you this question probably like 20 times. What is a radian? Because you need to remember, like degrees just make sense because you've been working with degrees your whole life. What is a radian? That was when you take the radius and you map it onto the circle. It's this angle right here, which is about 57.2 degrees. How many radians fit in a circle? 6.28, which is 2 pi. All right. Now, if we wanted to go from radians to degrees, now we're working backwards. It's kind of like in our warm-up example, instead of going from miles per hour to kilometers per hour, we're switching it. What that means is we are going to switch what we multiply by. So we do 180 multiplied by 6, right? Well, so for example, if I'm doing pi 6, I want this to be in degrees now. Oh, yeah, 180 divided by 6. So I'm going to do 180 over pi. And then pi... They simplify or cancel yeah. out, okay? Yeah, because in this case, we don't want it to have a pi. So all I'm going to do here is go on my calculator and do 180 over 6, or maybe you know it without a calculator. That is just 30 degrees. Yeah. Just wait a little bit. That gets your zero off the 180, you have 18. 6 divided by 18 is 3, and you have to add that. Yep, that's a good point. All right, let's do one more, and then you're going to do one on your own. So I'm going to do 3 pi fifths. So I'm going to times that by 180 over pi. And almost all the times the pi cancels, but there are some times where it might not. So I'm going to do 3 times 180, and then I'm going to divide that by 5. And if you can do it in your head, great. If not, use your calculator. What did you guys get here? Not quite what I did. Yeah, 108 is what I got as well. Because 3 times 180 is 540, and 540 divided by 5 is 108. Now, it won't always work out perfect. For example, here on 8 pi 11, I'm going to times by 180 over pi. And the pi's are going to cancel. But the numbers aren't going to be quite as nice as they were before. So on my calculator, I do 180 times 8, and then I divide that by 11. And what do you guys get when you do that? 130.9090. Yeah, that's what I got too. 130 point, oh, I want that blue. And notice that's in degrees. So that's how many degrees 8 pi 11. Now, for degrees, we put that little circle up there, a little dot. Technically, for radians, we should write out radians so you know it's in radians. But usually, just seeing the pi is kind of a clue that it's in radians. All right, now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you four minutes to do eight problems. For the first four, one through four, you're going from degrees into radians. What does that mean you're multiplying by to get from degrees to radians? There you go. They don't have a pi. You need to give them a pi, so pi is in the numerator. However, for 5 through 8, you're going from radians to degrees, so what are you going to times by here? Over pi. There you go. So I'm going to give you 5 minutes now, and I, 4 or 5 minutes, I want you to do as many of these as you can with your buddy, and check your answers, okay? 
All right, let's go to work.